passing strange. By their behavior, we may safely assume that they are under Vorthry's mind control. Yet the extent of the effect seemeth to vary dramatically between subjects. It is far too pronounced to be attributed simply to the vagaries of innate magical resistance. Curiouser and curiouser. We met with no trouble en route. My thanks for securing the way. But given the state of the townsfolk, I see we were never in any danger of being recognized. What can you tell us from here? I sense a powerful eater in the uppermost reaches of the city. But there's something different about it. Its light is... impure. We need to get closer. Oh, so that one's Alfino. Well, unless you're triplets. Kaishir, what are you doing here? While I was scouting the area, I noticed a suspicious figure skulking about. So I accosted him, only to have him call me Alfino. I thought it best to bring him along. You see, that informant who's been feeding secrets to the Crystarium, it's me. See, after you saved my life in Yulmore, I thought about going somewhere far away, but I couldn't just leave, not without paying you back. So I decided to stay here, keep an eye on things. And whenever I spotted something strange, I shared it with your friends. That took no small amount of courage. Well done. I assume you saw what happened here. Right, so an airship flew in a bit ago, and not long after, Vorfree starts ranting and raving. It, you could hear him from all the way out here. Giza was doing his nut, shouting and screaming like someone had nicked his pie. It is like the airship bore the soldiers sent to thwart our efforts in our So eventually the yelling dies down, and then this hot, sticky wind comes blowing through. Now that's when everyone went funny. Not everyone but me. Well, me and a couple of newcomers, though even they started mumbling about Vorfri after a while. Not as bad as the rest, mind you. Newcomers. There's something I need Reen to see. This was among the town folks' food stores. Oh, that's just meal. You almost douse this stuff out. No, it. It couldn't be. I, I know what it is. It's Sin Eater. Meal is made out of Sin Eater. So it is. In limited quantities, it may have little effect on an average individual. Yet if one were to consume it regularly, over a period of several years, I suspect it would do far, far more than merely nourish the body. That Vorthry wieldeth power over Sin Eaters is known. Could it be that those who partake of their flesh do thereby render themselves susceptible to his influence? It would serve to explain why the town's newer arrivals succumbed less quickly than those raised on a diet of meal. He's been rounding up Sin Eaters and feeding them to people. Altering them mouthful by mouthful, all to stop them answering back! There are desperate souls out there killing themselves to escape turning. This is unforgivable. An atrocity! 
These Sin Eaters, what if they are not simply rounded up? Do you remember what we were told when first we came to the city? Many enter, but none leave. Let us put an end to it, to this paradise built upon the bones of the poor. Vorthra's deeds are beyond justification, beyond forgiveness. Evil. It's highly probable that the Light Warden is waiting for us somewhere in there, and I'm all for going after it. But our enemies know our faces. They know that we are coming, and they will not let us through without a fight. Like it or not, the time for stealth is past. Now, my friend, if you would be so good as to lead the charge. <laughs> 